morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Struggle with DJ Academics and Joe Budden. I'm Nadeska, and look, man, we finally got Vince Staples. People were getting ready to riot finally. if we didn't have this man before we left LA. Finally, again. Man, why they got us like separated like he about to pounce on me? Vince wants no problems, but check the seating arrangement <laughs> today. Finally, a guest that I'm excited about. Don't. Finally, a guest that ain't gonna come you in here with You can't insult all the other guests. Fuck shit. I'm not insulting the other guests. I'm just saying, some guests complex is, is excited about, some guests academics is excited about, some guests I'm excited about. I'm happy that Vince is here. Y'all got extras of these? The mugs? Actually, you could be the first person to get some official merch. My mama gonna want one. So. Okay, let's Definitely. give Vince she could, mama she a She could mug. take Joe's. We can give you two, actually. Take both of their mugs. See, I yeah, you can have one of these motherfuckers. Thank you. Thank you for waking up early and coming. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, it's nothing. I don't let that far. <laughs> yo, you, yo, you just you just strolled Everything in today, man. Everything this nigga says yo. is funny to me. I Honestly, you, wait. Remember when I said he might be funnier and smarter than you, and you got offended? No, no, no. You know you what? Can't you, be wanna... calling, you can't be calling people dumb, though. <laughs> you know, you're not ever yeah. supposed to say somebody's smarter than you. You're so boof. If you said somebody say you're smarter than you, he's gonna be like, yeah, for sure. It's nah. okay. Yeah. By the end of the show, he's gonna I, I admit it. Though. Agree. He's just being sensitive right now. No, no, no. Listen, honestly, I like that Vince is one of the younger guys that is intelligent. <laughs> Honestly, and, and all like, these niggas are stupid. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy. happy don't point my reason. But they not stupid. He, he, d- he does. Like he does share some yeah. of, some of the opinions that may not be popular that I agree with. You know what I mean? I don't really got no opinions, bro. They're all facts. No, no, no. They be asking me questions, bro. I don't give a fuck about what no, nobody no. doing. You did volunteer. You said that Ray J was like a legend. I agree. That, and I was like, I'm dead. I was like, I fuck with you. That's just clear to me. Ray J. Ray J. On some Barry White shit, bro. A lot. A lot of people like what. But I agree with you. I'm like, but yo. That's, cause, that's because niggas is from far away, bro. They don't they don't know what's going on out here. He you convinced know what I'm me with that interview. This nigga Ray J the other day, he was like, he was talking about music. He was like, so how y'all get paid now? <laughs> I was like, shit, streaming. He said, damn, that's crazy. Y'all got to wait for y'all money. <laughs> he was like, I sell bikes, bro. I got three bikes. Yeah, one costs $1,500, one 1800 one 2500 I take Amex, Discovery, MasterCard. <laughs> I'm like, for sure, Ray J. He got a, he got a brick and mortar, bro. He's you can't hate on that. He's yeah, well. that's true. He's, he's a great business. Well. Yeah, that little scooty bike store is in Hoboken. My man on, Billy. Man. Oh, really? Come yeah. on, get oh, you a scooty some... bike. Get you a fucking scooty bike, DJ. Get you a scooty bike, DJ. Man, I don't know if that could run away from these niggas that trying to chase me, man. Nobody gonna <laughs> fucking chase you. Get you a fucking scooty bike. A scooty bike? Get a scooty bike. How fast can it go? Uh, faster than Vic Mitchell. I'm out of this. So it's not too soon for jokes. Nah, it's never too soon. Never it's too soon. It's faster than Vic Mensa, that's great. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, people, I had to check when Vince Staples came in today. I'm like, because I watch videos all night, I'm like, did I ever say nothing fucked up about him? I'm like, are we good? No, you <laughs> good. Yeah, you, don't even, you don't say shit about my shit. You know, like when the homie died, you posted that. I appreciated that because yeah. I was low-key important to me. You posted the shit Time Magazine did. They were, they were booed for that, but it's cool. No, I did speak about uh, you before because one time... And the double XL freshman list I got through. Because the homie, the homie from the hood be watching all the uh, the Warren Chirac shit that she was oh, doing yeah, that yeah. got you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> he watched all of them. <laughs> Got you in a lot of trouble. But he watched Don't get your homie pulled up on one, too. You know what I mean? You already got oh, one. No. <laughs> that ain't going to That ain't going to happen. That's not going to happen. But uh, <laughs> what I'll say it is, if he be like, oh, yeah, cuz said something about you, too. He said you cool. I'm like, for sure. Yeah, nah, there you nah. go. Fix. And also, no problems cool. today. Now, and also, I, I saw you were having this conversation, I believe, with Nori one time. It was kind of bridging that gap, that generation gap. I loved it. Man, fuck that gap. The niggas is grown. They are not supposed to be talking to me. <laughs> Why do niggas want a generation gap, bro? Who, you, who, who, which friends you know that's forty? You got some forty-year-old friends that you just kick it with? That's weird, bro. I mean, Don't count well, y'all coworkers. That's not friend. He's not forty. I know sometimes 45. you're fifty. Sometimes yes, you, you, yeah. you niggas are coworkers. Your age changes per show, Joe. But it's your y'all fault. Y'all are coworkers. Y'all didn't grow. You wasn't hanging out with your bud when you was thirteen. That's, he, that's he, weird, no. bro. He ain't never hanging out with your bud in a day. <laughs> All right, so, yo, I'm really glad you're here. It's going to be a good show. Interested to hear your thoughts. But we do have to start with some sad news. We have to pay our respects to a legend. Prodigy died yesterday. He was 42 years old. Obviously, we know him as half of Mob Deep, but he was a great solo artist as well. Um, Joe, I know this is especially close to your heart. I know, so start with Ack in case I start crying. Okay. Nah, this definitely caught me by surprise yesterday again. Mm. Of course, any rapper or any anyone dying, period, always, like, hits us or if we remember them yeah. um, or we have fond memories of them. However, this was so sudden, we didn't have any lead up to it. 
Um, but we do know he's been battling with a lot of uh, medical illnesses. He's been dealing with sickle cell for his yeah. whole life, so we know he's, he's had issues. But he had a show in Vegas, a Mob Deep show, and he was hospitalized after. Yeah. And, um, those it, are all the details we have. It, it really just hit me. It hit me crazy just because it was so unexpected. Yeah. And I know his fans, of course, Havoc, probably his family, of course, not probably, but his family, of course, is mourning. I was just speechless. Yeah. I cried. Um, I got a text that said, did you hear what happened to Prodigy? And when you come from where I come from, anytime you get a text that starts that way, I immediately picked up the phone and, and got the unfortunate news. Um, P, man, I beefed with P. I squashed my beef with P. P, when you, I'm from, I'm originally from Queens. The sound that Mob Deep was able to capture um, really was just representative of us. It was very grimy, it was very gritty, it was very, it was just New York. He, Mob Deep and, and Pete in particular, they embodied New York and what that sounded like, especially when we had Nas from Queensbridge and then you have these niggas come from Queensbridge and we really need a Queensbridge documentary, honestly, the Nori from Left Rack. We need to acknowledge all the people from Queens, but. P and Mob, P might P might be the greatest verse starter ever. Any any time he started a verse, you remembered it. I I don't want to keep talking about it because it is it 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 touches me. It touched me. It touched yeah. me. It reminds you. Anytime we lose somebody in hip hop, it just reminds you it could happen. I mean, we know that. But 40 years old is young. Really young. 42 years old is very young. I understand that he was sick, but it's very young. Uh, my prayers and condolences go out to his family. Uh, and it was great to see the overwhelming amount of love that he just received all day long uh, throughout, throughout social media. Yeah. Vince, were you a fan growing up? Yeah, I, mean, I met Project Alchemist House a long time ago when I was like 16 and dusty. I fuck with Project. It was like when he first got out the pen and he was, he was doing songs with everybody. Like that was at Alchemist House, like for no reason. Like he didn't even know niggas' names and you could have got a verse. You know what I'm saying? But. I mean, it just showed the lack of appreciation and a lack of knowledge, in my opinion. I hate to take it there, but it's true. I post, it's true. It's true. A, I post a picture of Cuz on my shit and uh, put the interlude, I mean, you know, the, um, the, um, the prelude from Infamous, like, I mm -hmm. typed it out, because that's like, I had heard, I'm only 23, so I heard Mob Deep probably, like, not for the first time, for the first time noticing it, uh, when they start, uh, when God of Twisted came out, then I started fucking with 50, and 50 was real important, and like, when I grew up in like my area, and then, you know, you kind of go back into people works, you see the things he said. And one thing about Prodigy, it was real close because he was saying some like, I would say some dark, some real dark stuff at a point in time. Mm -hmm. And that's like, you know, you go through things when you were a kid. I was going through a little bit. So there's a lot of stuff I related to, like Pearly Gates. That's my, one of my favorite songs ever, that versus Cole. Uh, but just he, the way he wrote, it's like corrupt. Like they weren't really conventional. Yeah. They didn't really sound like they was always on beat or like they was always chasing. Yeah. A certain cadence the words, they was talking. The words didn't always rhyme. Like it was a very different, very just unique. It's unique. only one, but yeah. So I post a picture. I post good things like, and the comments like, "Oh, I thought you never did drugs before." It's like, who is this? It's like, but you niggas, I, I be clicking niggas' pages, cause like, but you got <laughs> 50 Jay Z pictures and calling everybody trash and all mm -hmm. this other shit. It just it just y'all fucked up a place we are in. But you can't wait for nobody to die, you know. Yeah. Appreciate him because it, Prodigy been Prodigy this whole time, you know what I mean? And same thing that goes with a lot of other artists. It's just about, you know, so appreciation and respect. I posted, um, I posted Rest in Peace Prodigy. Uh, I think this is before the news was widespread. And then immediately somebody from TMZ texted me to say, hey, what happened to Prodigy? And I just ignored it because I was in my sentimental place, mm -hmm. right? And then a few hours later, I read a TMZ headline that I didn't like. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't, I never even really looked at TMZ with disgust like yesterday with that whole, and I'm not even saying that the headline was, whatever it was, Prodigy chokes on an egg yeah, in the this. hospital. I really hate when people are that fucking classless. Like that's just ridiculous to me when somebody passes, I would think it's a time of mourning and I would think that some people have the decency to be a bit sensitive toward it. I don't give a fuck if that's what really happened. 
I don't give a fuck if that's what really happened. For that to be your headline and for us to be like really clickbaiting this really depth. So then I got the thing of really TMZ. But no. don't you defend TMZ? No, you what you well, fuck TMZ. What I'm saying is, what you forgetting is, he's a rapper and all that, but he's still a nigga. If you think TMZ or any of these mediums or media give a fuck about some black people, you tripping. Because no matter who he is, he could have been anybody. He's still a nigga at the end of the day. So they're not going to get nobody respect just because they're I, black. But in my I agree. Opinion. That's why I'm tripping. But I'm tripping because like, I agree. Don't pretend to care. But, but this, is what I'm, this is what I'm saying is that make him not exist no more. It's easy. We, we quick to make some black shit disappear. All you got to do is not pay attention to that. I agree. See, I need this knowledge and wisdom. <laughs> like TMZ, I ain't never going to know TMZ for nothing. I don't care if they got breaking news yeah. on the NBA draft. I'm gonna wait till it air on the TV. <laughs> I'm not watching no fucking TMZ. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just thought it was classless. But, but they, yeah, look, I mean, look what they do. They follow people around and ask them about their baby mamas and shit. Like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah, look where I'm expecting class from. Well, rest in peace, the prodigy. Rest in peace, P. I hope that Alk is alright. I hope that Nas is alright. I hope that uh, Preem is our is alright. I hope that people that were extremely close to P are okay. I hope that the hip hop community is all right, because, you know. Very shocking. Um, so we are here for the BET Awards. Uh, so every day we're running through um, a category. We want your opinions today, Vince. So today it is uh, the award for best collaboration. Um, so I'll read this you the This sounds like piece. a good one. This sounds much more fun than uh, the category yesterday, the best women, whatever. You're just going to hate on that regardless. That's but true. Anyway, Beyonce and Kendrick, Freedom, Chance and Wayne, No Problem, Chris Brown, Gucci, Usher, Party, Khaled, J. Beyonce, Shining, Bad and Bougie, and Black Beatles. I'm just hearing mad names. Sorry. <laughs> like, let me just do the songs. Black yeah. Beatles. Okay. Bad and Bougie, Shining, Party, No Problem, and Freedom. Sorry, I wish you could put these up. Party. <coughs> what song is Party then? Chris Brown, Gucci, Usher. I don't think that's going to win. All right. They're up against sorry, Black Beatles sorry, and Bad and Bougie. I enjoyed your Nadeska interview, but no. I'm not rolling with that one. Bad and Bougie. Can I see the list? <laughs> <laughs> You're so sad. All right, let's see here. Come on, y'all niggas say something while I look at hey. this shit. Oh, yeah, I can't right, you know the answer. No, no. I don't know the answer. I'm not picking them, but oh, I think... Oh, duh. Least... Ch chance is raking up here. No problem. I would, Vince, I would say chance, chance, but bad I would and bougie. Say chance, but I think bad big. and bougie is pretty neck to neck with black beetles. Yeah, I think just those because are the... just how things kind of. Ray Schremer broke up, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going with black yeah. beetles. Man, yo, Slim Jim. Uh, hey, if they didn't announce it yet, I'm sorry. Migos, bad and bougie is hard. Bad and bougie is hard. This, I think no problem wins this though. I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark. All right, so just I think pick. Chance racks up. I think he racks up at these awards. Would you like to see? I mean, the, oh, the Black the Beatles. Fact, <laughs> Black Beatles. The Black fact Beatles. that uh, I mean, they gotta start getting a little bit more diverse with these lists, and not just find the five biggest songs on. Now one. you're asking for a list. Like you want diversity? Come too on. I mean, I'm saying, I mean, I mean, I mean it's, it's Viacom. You know who's gonna win? But it's like. At least make it cute, my nigga. Like, ask, ask some extra <laughs> Yo, shit. Where did like, you get, when, when did you get so... When did you delve into all of this, the Viacom parent company? What, are you trying to related? say smarter I'm asking, or... Joe is, Joe is trying <laughs> to say... Oh, no. He's trying to say he sees a mini-me. Let me no, ask you a question. Asking. Let me ask you a question. Do Eminem, he woke. Do Eminem got a BET award? I don't think so. Do Justin Timberlake got a BET award? He might. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I think Should I look this up? So what I'm saying is, and I mean this in the most humble way, right? If we're giving <laughs> white people BET awards, y'all should probably throw the salon sound for Does Eminem have there. a BET award? Well, I, I know for a fact he got a BET award. And I know if he don't, Justin Tops, Timberlake. Where's, before where's the Google, Justin, my nigga? Before Justin <laughs> Timberlake, <laughs> before Justin Timberlake, Guy stitched on Janet Jackson and stopped pretending he, you know, was fucking with black people. Like, you know, you know niggas like to disappear after something go wrong and go back white. Did Macklemore win one? Macklemore got a BET award. This is what I'm saying, bro. Let's throw let's throw some real black on there. Like throw some Sanfa, uh, Sanfa. Is that his name? Sanfa or Sanfa? Sanfa. Sanfa, Solange. I apologize. Sanfa. No, it's Sanfa. Great Sanfa. Solange was a great album. Throw the, throw wait, why Sanfa? Wait, wait. He's, why is Sanfa real black though? Because he got a, a funny voice. Nah, look at that <laughs> nigga. <laughs> he is look, really black. Look at that nigga hair, bro. Whenever yeah. your shit nappy like that, you don't give a fuck with oh, nobody. Oh, you never seen what he looks like. 
I've shit never nappy, seen Sam Hall. Yeah, I, was, I haven't Hall. seen some of these. His shit nappy. No, bro. Like, uh, like the weekends here Yo, before you got the cut. I ain't my shit, realizing, sort of, bro, his shit is nappy and he got my Yeah, but these niggas are styling this shit to be nappy. You didn't realize Nah, bro, he from my shit. I've never saw him before. Man, you tripping, my nigga. I've only heard his music. Hold on, my nigga. His voice is very distinct. Hold on, my Look at this nigga face, bro. Look at my nigga face, bro. He on some nigga shit. Look, look at that mustache. He got a Steve Harvey mustache. This is Sanford? This is Sanford. I ain't never listen to this nigga. You get what I'm saying? That shit cold. Look, all I'm saying, man, if it's going to be the BT Awards, let's get real black. You know, throw that Lil Wayne talking about Birdman. Mm. Or something like, it's some fire, you know, collaboration. Hey, let me, if help, you know, let me, let me help you out. Sanford's, <laughs> Sanford's not winning. Okay, but Solange is definitely And I fuck with Sanford. I didn't know you like It looked like, this, it looked like Vince is trying to like say her. the BET Awards should represent the culture if we're going to call it black what, what the fuck is the culture? I'm not, I'm not, I hate that word. We're not using that or, word. What or, is or the culture? Hey, that wait a minute. Here we talking. go. Here we go. Here we go. What the fuck is what the culture? What is the culture? Black culture? The culture. What the do you culture. mean what is the culture? What's the culture? What is the culture? People throw this around a lot now. It is a Migos album and I love it. The culture is the elements. Of, of, of hip hop, yeah. so like the pop blocking and shit. Yeah. So what's the culture? <laughs> the culture is like what you would see just in, in the community. Oh, see. What's the culture? Right, so you know, I have no idea. No, no, for real. We asking the desk because y'all don't talk turn off. How do we define the culture? Right now, it feels like anything that's just popular in hip hop. So that's what it feels like sometimes. Also, People no cross everything off to the exactly. culture. Exactly. And past that, okay, now we're gonna take it a step further. Here we go. So that's not a pigeonhole in your opinion. The culture. But I answered it, and I'm standing behind. But my is that answer. but is that a pigeonhole before it being the culture? The, the elements you on some, you on some, like you on some, like you know some you know, grandmaster flash shit. <laughs> I don't think kids think about the, those elements right. when they think so, about so, the culture. So let me ask, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. When when Katy Perry want to get hot, right? Because she just did the thing at the oh. Whitney Museum when they put her hair Ooh. through the table. Bad they, example. They we're gonna the, agree. No, no, we're gonna on. agree. When they put the tray out, and it was like, oh, we gonna surprise the people and see it's Katy Perry, mm. and nobody give a fuck, right? So she like, damn, who do I get? Do I get the Migos? Yeah, cause they hot. When Taylor Swift like, uh, it's kind of yada yada. The Kanye shit was a long time ago. She Somebody go call the nigga from Compton. Well, Miley Cyrus like, damn, I don't want to be on the Disney Channel no more. Where Mike will at? Do, who got a Michael Jordan and Mitchell and Nesjer? I'm finna shake my ass and I'm finna be white again in two years. When that happened, do that not count as the culture? Because I feel like it's limiting because everybody wanna be this. That's not the culture. But my, well, this is my it's question. Like That's culture. what I'm saying. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is, well, I think we yes, it is. Yes, it those is. people are trying to appropriate the culture. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why it is. I'm gonna tell you why it is because the Migos are never gonna call Katy Perry for nothing. They not calling Calvin Harris. I mean. They would no, never no, or they I'm can't. Calvin Harris. Wait, yes, they, I they would it. never or they Calvin can't. Harris is, is hip hop. But, wait, then wait. I, but I know that. But but he don't. But you know, niggas ain't talking about him. He no, don't. He yes. don't. But that's what I'm that's saying. True. So what I'm saying is, they calling the niggas at the end of the day. That's no, what I'm So you, I'm saying about the culture shit. You limiting it for the culture, niggas for everything. You're not you're not cracking right now if you ain't got no black something. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga might be smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all I was waiting for. Do you think it would be the opposite way around? No, it can't. It's not ex man. Ed Sheeran went to go kick it with the Jamaicans for a single. My nigga, when he disappeared. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, the I'm like, I, wait, can't I can't let you attack Ed Sheeran. I'm either. not attacking him. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is niggas ain't trying to sound like Green Day no more. So all that culture shit is out. That's out because I mean, at the end of the, you trying to say that something is belief, it's beneath something. No, nigga. What's the hot shit that ain't got nothing to do with being black? But that's not the culture. You can argue with Dale. What I'm uh, saying Dale, is, it, it's Dale. the only culture, bro. You can't, you can't really say that and limit it because then you saying that niggas ain't responsible for all the shit above it. It's a, it's a, it's a, so, are, are you right, saying black culture is culture in general? Yeah, seconds. Hold okay. up for two okay, seconds. Okay, so no need to separate. He's changing I, I the context it. of the word culture. But you, he said BT for the culture, and they said Beyonce. So that's not we're not talking specifically grounded in hip hop. We talking the BET awards. Is BET for the culture? You tell me. I don't got cable, bro. I'm cheap. <laughs> I don't really watch it. Do y'all watch it? Well, I'm an internet nigga. You know I definitely watch TV. You feel me? <clears throat> Netflix, Hulu. Maybe yeah. BT is not not for the culture. I don't know. Maybe Vince has convinced me. <laughs> I'm just asking, bro. Because when people say that, I just be kind of lost. Because hey. what they talk about, like, is you talking about hip hop? Is you talking about black culture? Because what's not black culture? If, if we talk about the award show, I don't think no award show is for any culture. We I say think it's all politics. It's right? all politics. It's all about ratings. So I don't think when we're thinking about who's gonna get the awards nominations, that's strictly it. But that's 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 y'all fault and our fault. That's everybody's fault. Because what if somebody like say, oh, I don't give a f Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan won a Lifetime Achievement Awards, and that nigga staying at the house. Mm. So if you make it feel like it's important, it's important. If you say it's not important, it's not. It's the number shit. It's the money shit. It's like a nigga could be like, if a rapper was like, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. And the consensus was like, you know what? 
We don't give a fuck right now. I guarantee they stop saying it. I, I mean, truth be told, I feel like that as the true. years has progressed, I, true. I feel like award shows are getting less and less relevant. Like, I think people only show up if they want. As a kid, right. I used oh, to see the award exactly, shows. Everybody but, was there. But, but, the art, but the artists... The artists still yeah, care, don't they? That's what that's I'm what saying. I, I feel like they, they get pissed, about. they rant. But, yeah, yeah, but then right, if they right. get invited the next year to perform and get an award, they're going to do it. I mean, I mean, Kanye, Kanye really took that shit to another game. This nigga Kanye was like, I'm finna play my music video at y'all award show wearing my T-shirt. No, 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 no. Even further than that, he that had shit a, is, that's he funny had a 15 minute <laughs> speech. Speech that even MTV ain't know what he was going to be talking about. <laughs> hey, we have a about. Kanye rant coming. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. They, that was the promo. Yeah. They, they was like, Kanye, you want to come to the show? Yeah, but I'm finna talk and I'm finna play my video. Y'all cool with that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see y'all niggas later. And I'm not, I'm gonna wear a t shirt. But I, niggas watched it. That's what I'm great. saying. Stop acting like these Production niggas Production was pissed. Though. I was backstage for that. Okay. They were not happy. So should we not, are you saying, are you proposing that we not use the word culture? What I'm saying is I just want to know what it means because if it means, if it means specific things, then that's, that's cute. It means but if it means that is a very popular it means phrase on Twitter. Do it for the culture. Fucking but that's, I, I, don't, I don't say that. That's it. because niggas are stupid and they say whatever the you tell them. Man, you crazy. Wait, you consensus. say that too. Let no, no, bro. It's general consensus. If you say something enough, Niggas gonna say it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. That's true. Perfect example. Uh, Nas make trash beats. Nas pick trash beats. Okay, but everybody love real hip hop, right? They saying fuck Lil Yachty and fuck all these other niggas, but at the same time, Nas got trash beats. What the fuck kind of sense do that make? Premiere trash, but you don't. You can't rap on Premiere. I thought you that, feel what I'm saying. I that shit is corny as fuck. Nas had picked the worst beats thing. I thought that that was a bit rough. Enough niggas said it to where niggas I never did thought it. that Nas's beats were as trash as people made it made them out to be. But this is but, my question, Joe. But buddy. then they say I pick trash. No, no, I, mean, well, I, 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 I think it's people Joe. wanted to hear Nas on other more trendy. Who give a fuck what they beats, want though? Yeah. Why do people care what people want so bad? Yo, let's actually this is perfect. I see this where nigga Andy Warhol wasn't like, hey, cuz by the way, what y'all want me to paint? He was like, nigga, here's a banana, eat a dick. <laughs> Here's Yo. a fucking soup can. Eat a I don't know Yo. if I'm more impressed with him or the fact that he does have a publicist. What's <laughs> up, oh, so Courtney? Shout out Courtney hey, in the back. Yo, Courtney Asbury, best in the business. Yeah, she need Courtney's a raise, amazing. Gabe. Clearly, she need a fucking raise. This but, yo, phase of Gabe Bartles, she need a raise in the corner office. He worse than oh, me, but when you say it smooth and cool. Yeah, well, you're not right. shouting, sweating, okay? Yeah. You're not about to jump That's true. He's much more relaxed when he talks to shit. Courtney need a raise. <laughs> he way, way more woke. All right, well, do we have a topic? Lyrics getting really uncomfortable right now. We got to oh, move on. But no, no, this is perfect. Is so about. Vince's new album, Big Fish Theory, is coming June 23rd. So we want to talk about your project and how you feel about the rap game. Maybe we just continue this conversation really about the culture. you think Schoolboy Q is, is ugly? Nah, I'll just be okay. I know. I'm, <laughs> I, do, I, do, I, do. I, don't, I don't even be looking at her like that again. <laughs> <laughs> but I was over there yesterday. That's the hobby. He, you know, he be, he be like, oh, yeah, you could do better than that. When I, I, the first real tour I went on, it was a long time ago. I did something like before, man. Like you know, you ain't got no money, you ain't got no access to nothing. My music sound like whatever they give. Me. These the beats you mm-hmm. want. These what I got for sure. We gonna make these songs. I'm gonna go to these shows, get the five hundred dollars a piece, and take care of my mama type whatever. But Q was like, oh yeah, this ain't gonna work. They ain't not gonna fuck with you. It's too slow. Mm-hmm. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, you talking too much. You rapping too fast. You rapping too slow. Yeah, this gonna be trash. But, like. Rappers that's don't like dope. to tell you that. That's so that's dope. like, he been telling me that for a minute, so I play in my music, and he always tell me the truth. He be like, yeah, don't let that nigga give you beats no more. He trying to play you. Like, he say uh-huh. shit like that. And cute. that. That's dope coming from him, because he puts together dope albums. Yeah, yeah. That's, he the coldest, but it's like, you know, it's just all good. I appreciate, you know, all the, all the you know, because I don't be, I ain't with all the, the like, the, the buddy, buddy, like, let's hold hands and walk down the hallway shit rap niggas be doing. Like, I ain't really, and it's all good that people do that. It's just, I ain't really got time for that. You know what I mean? That's not, like, that's the kind of person I am. I ain't finna take no picture with no niggas. So it's like. I want a picture. Nah, that's different. We cool. I mean, like, <laughs> a nigga, I mean, a nigga you don't know or talk to. Like, oh, let's no, get this flick. Yeah, you know yeah, how niggas yeah, yeah, yeah. shake yeah. your hand in the hallway once and take a picture with you. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, with yeah. all that. So any advice or help I get, I appreciate it. Hey, man, we're excited for this project. Yeah, it should be cool. Fuck it. it should be cool. Right? What's up? What's up? Nah, she's trying to keep us on topic. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Watch, what's up? I got you. I'm, I'm, I got you. Larry, can you just motion at Joe instead of me? <laughs> big what? Fish. It's I very distracting, but yeah, All she's right, which, like, come which on, guys. I'm looking at this. A Big Fish Theory comes out June 23rd. 
<laughs> on Def Jam Records. Def Jam. You know what I mean? Def Jam. Def Jam. Def Jam. Def Jam. You know Tangent right uh, now. Are we having the Def Jam Road session now? No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, we're not. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know, they put my music out. You're one of the few niggas that I like on Def Jam. I'm not going to do that. So, you feel me? We got songs. You know what I mean? I'm finna sell my 5,000 albums. We got songs. I'm finna go do these shows. You know what I mean? There's going to be shows. Keep it cracking. You know, we got features. We got producers. You know, go listen to it. I don't know what I'm supposed to say at this point in time. Is that always <laughs> awkward? Is that it was awkward for me? I mean, is it awkward when, like, you're put in that position? I know when I was coming out and BT used to have that stupid shit. All right, give us ten seconds or less of why we should buy your album. I mean, yeah, get the hilarious. fuck out my face with this bullshit, free and AJ. I mean, <laughs> well, it's just some, it's some cool shit. It's like, yeah, they put you on, the, put you on the, like, you know, the little, put you on this little st- yeah. auction stage. You know, yeah. let us know why you special, nigga. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's, that's all it is, but you know, it's, I mean, it's music at the end of the day. Yo, you would you it. skip the whole promo cycle if you could? I know I mean, a lot of artists must feel like this, but maybe some people actually enjoy talking it's, about it's, it. I mean, mm-hmm. it's necessary, you know, it's, to each his own. I just feel like it, it's demeaning sometimes for somebody to be like, you putting something out about you? Well, who's featured? Mm-hmm. And who's the producers? It's like True. you're trying to, it's like people look for different things. It's like, when I was a kid, bro, I, I wasn't really super big into, everybody listens to music, don't get me wrong, but I, we, I ain't had no money to be going buying people's CDs and iPods and Zones, unless, you know, we confiscated it from somebody. We ain't really had that kind of stuff growing up. Yeah. So if I'm just buying somebody, see, if I'm paying $10, $20 out of my mama money for something, I'm going to listen to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to open read, it up, look through the that book on everything. My, man, most of my life, I thought uh, Rod Digger was consequence on Spaceship because <laughs> Kanye ain't had nobody name on the thing. He only had their real name. <laughs> so <laughs> so my, I thought Rod Digger was consequence my whole life. Same voice and all that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it takes away from the experience sometimes when people be, you know, giving away too much. You can't listen because, yeah. oh, uh, Jay Z on number eight, they going right to number eight. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, Jay Z on number eight, I'm going to number eight. Oh, Future on number twelve, so you going to number eight, number twelve. Then you going to pick and choose. You going to go from what got the most plays and the most streams. It's like you, it's, it limits the purpose of an album. So giving away too much kind of it is, hurts sometimes. Is Def Jam's focus, or if you've noticed, Stephen, is their focus on Albums or streams, like physical, uh, physical or streams. From a bit, from uh, from a business standpoint, I feel like for them to operate within a business, any major label, you kind of got to focus on everything because you never know where things are going to turn. Because of course, you can't focus on streams because that's what's that's that's the quick food right now. That's the McDonald's shit. But if you look at the vinyl take within the marketplace and how oh, yeah. it's rising and how you can look inside of these different storefronts and mm-hmm. there's a whole wall of Urban Outfitters. With full of vinyl and the targets on these other places are and closing record up. Record players, they got exactly. nice record players. So what I'm Urban saying Outfit. is, if, if Target, <laughs> I think it's by art. If Target is, cl- like, target is closing down and Amazon is is, is buying a uh, Whole Foods and people are trying to buy these structures, Disney losing money, ESPN doing cuts. This nigga reads. Yo, who they, just they, dropped they, some stock knowledge? They noticed it. Too? Okay, oh, they, you in the stock? You mad open? Fuck out of here. Let me get my money. Stocks. Let me. Let me. But they, but they, they, they noticing was how it was turning, so they got to focus on everything. And as a biz, that's what they supposed to do. And as an artist, you're just a part of their business, but it depends on who you want to be. You can make art, you can make commerce. Now, I'm going to make some bread, so I don't give a fuck about none of that stuff. And I just appreciate them because if I tell them I'm not doing that, they'll be like, for sure, they're not looking at me to be Justin Bieber because, to be honest, I understand it's a part of it, but I don't give a fuck about really no album sales. I don't give a fuck about no um, no streaming numbers. Like I play, I do shows. That's how I make my bread. I, 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 we, we, should, we should play the royalty check challenge. Have all the rappers post their royalty check with their last day. Don't the challenge them. They'll do it. They probably won't do that. They'll post it. No, they won't. No, they won't. It's not about how much money. Post your BMI statements. You get them online. Tell email. Everybody know that. What I'm saying is it's not about the money. It's about how few and far between they come. Yeah. You can't get a twenty, thirty thousand dollars check. I'm not saying you can't, but what I'm saying is that's a year after six months, after two years, you know what I mean? So I make my money off a of show. So my main thing is making sure my music experience that people can visualize and understand so that because I'm playing fifteen hundred to three thousand C venues. And I'm I'm playing I just more people in my shows and it's album sales I'm getting on the first week most of the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I gotta know where my my <clears> space <throat> is at. But with Def Jam, you know, the sync licensing and, and, and the stuff for TV and stuff for film, they making money off of that. And also, cause it, I don't, it don't cost nothing to make my albums. So mm. I feel like they business space is different with other people. If my budget was $3 million or something like that, then yeah, they gonna need a couple different type of things. And the stream is just as important records. as album sales. Yeah. But I'm recording the album for nothing and, and my budget is recoupable. So I'm getting the back end. They cool, they getting what they gotta get. So it's, it's an easy 
situation for me and them. You know what I mean? It, it's easy because you, you know what you want to be, and you're not trying to be something. I mean, and I just know I just know how to. I got I, I was I was blessed to have a manager that picked me up when I was a kid and when I wasn't shit, yeah. and when I was running around being stupid. You know, so I I listened to everything he told me, and I got a good lawyer. You know, I got good people around me. I just kind of taught me what it was because they've been doing it for so long. Yeah. You know, my management uh, was from it was they had them Dave Chappelle, the Chappelle Show, the Block Party, the De La Soul, the Most Evan Tyler Quali, the Gene Gray, did a lot of things in his life. You know, uh, y'all so stupid. And from Atlanta, way back in the day, and my lord handled a big estate and then was doing Luke stuff for a little bit. He's he, they've seen things before. So why am I not gonna listen to these grown black men who look at me when I ain't got nothing and ain't really getting paid off of me and telling me how the business mm -hmm. works? So. I was able to take that with, you know, Def Jam and all these other venues, whether it's Sprite or Converse or when it was Levi's and things like I that. I seen that Sprite, man. And figure it out. Shit. Hey, hey, so you, so you never came in the game looking at the people with commercial su success and kind of wanted a little bit? Nah, because I, 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 I was never looking at music as it, as like it included me. I'm not looking at their career like it got nothing to do with me. That's them. Mm. If I like your music, I'm going to listen to your music. I'm going to be like, that's what's up, and I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not finna like... I'm not finna be like, oh, he doing this, he doing that, he doing that, he doing that, and I'm just gonna try to move with that. I'm not gonna move with what they doing. I'm a, it ain't me, you feel me? Yeah. If you telling a story about your life and what you done been through and your mama name, your daddy name, what kind of nigga would I be if I'm like, oh, that's me? That's weird, <laughs> cuz. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but wait, 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 so you say it's weird, but you sound very, you sound very secure with who you are. You yeah. seem like you know who you are. You seem like you know what you want. You, that, that's a rarity. But no, no, I'm no. Especially 23. No, it's different. It's different. Because when I was a kid, I was on some stupid shit. And not because, not because, like, intelligence is just, I was, you know, motherfuckers deal with their own problems, their own way. And a lot of times people projecting, you know, self hate is a real motherfucking thing in black community. And so is mental health and things like that. So it's like, when you think of it about that, a lot of times the music is, can help guide you on how to find who you are. But a lot of the times you could be looking, listening to that music, but you don't look in the mirror while you're listening to it. So if you listen to the music in the right way and you're still assessing and thinking about yourself, you will find out who you are eventually because if you, you can't run from it. A lot of motherfuckers run from it. You, if you use the music or just any form of media or whatever to run from yourself, you never gonna get it right. But I was able to, you know, I can't, I couldn't run from who I was. I was, I grew up on the main street. What's your sign? Okay. <laughs> I'm asking the question, man. I'm just asking him his sign. Hey. July 2nd. Oh, come on, man. That doesn't make me Is think. that a cancer? Yeah. That? yeah. There you go. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm not into that neither. All right, so. A cancer? We'll talk about this more later. Joe, you see what, lyrics? Lyrics going to kill us if we don't. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so when uh, Designer dropped Panda, I feel like a lot of people thought Future had another hit on his hands, and you realize there's actually a designer who had another hit on his hands. So now uh, the producer you Menace get another one. talked to DJ Booth. Uh, he said Future Panda. <laughs> we still talking about Panda. <laughs> Outlet should have been hey, one, yo. Hey, when we still talking about Panda, <laughs> it's time. I don't know if Def Jam, somebody dropped the ball. On, on Wait, does I go Def Jam? I think, right? Give me a reason to shit on he Def Jam. He on good music. Well, he on Def Jam. Music, on Def Jam? Music. They don't try to separate a nigga. He's yeah, your <laughs> label mate. Let's talk about it. Nah, he cool. He a cool nigga, but you know, it is what it is. I, mean, I thought it was Future on Kanye album. I was like, oh, Future. Yeah, a lot of people did. I was like, yeah. he put the filter no, on the I think that's a lot of people's reaction. I was like, Future got a filter now. This code, this the new Future. That's what I really thought it was. <laughs> Yo, this all right, is so, why there's a lawsuit. So, Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Girl. So the producer Menace, he spoke to DJ Booth. He said that uh, Future put an infringement claim on it, so people haven't collected the checks. Um, and then he said Mike <laughs> Dean also put a, an infringement claim on it, a claim, although he didn't do anything to the beat. Mike Dean responded and said, relax, I did. Yeah. Uh, produce, et cetera, et cetera. Are you guys surprised? Mike did hit him with the two chords. I don't want to finish the song type <laughs> I'm, shit. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit surprised <laughs> just niggas because... Niggas love taking niggas publishing, bro. Nigga, right. Doop, doop, doop. I need 85% of the song. Now nigga, you give, want, give a whole breakdown. I want, 30, I want 35 grand up front. I want the back end. Nah, I mean, look. They should just fight, bro. <laughs> squabble, squabble up challenge. Squabble up challenge. Hey, Loki, okay, I was thinking hey, about that. I'm with the squabble up challenge. I like that challenge. So now let's play hypotheticals. I like this conversation now. <laughs> If if they were to square up, <laughs> yeah, future who do you designer to fight? Future designer, designer, yeah. hyper fool. Yo, he's got energy. He's like he's hyper. A lot of he's energy. Got energy. And he look like he look like he, he look like he got a cold chin. Like he could take like two, three, boom, boom, boom. boom Design, designer fools me though because designer is always happy. And, and the guy be, who's always them, them yeah. the ones you don't want. You don't want to. Yeah. Man, you, know, you can future beat a be mad high. nigga up fast. A mad nigga, he gonna be swinging all hard <laughs> trying to knock you out. That's an easy fade. What I'm saying is, bro, everybody's so hard. Niggas done shot all these niggas, sold all these drugs. You know, slapped all these women. How about y'all just fade real quick? 15 seconds. Go body. You don't even got to punch nobody in their face. You know these niggas like to be cute. Go body. Boom, boom, boom. My Squabble bad. We cool. Challenge. And we, we straight. Yeah, but, all right. So you, you raise an interesting point. So I have to ask. 
Do you, is everybody so hard now? I, I don't know if hip hop is in hard squabble up places. Yeah, yeah, it's so many. Guns, are we in a squabble bro, up? It's more. I've seen more guns on the internet than I've ever seen in my life. See some cold and, and my yes. hood don't got no money. We was the ones that was trying to kill people. when We was kids. We was like, oh y'all want girls and y'all want to be fly. Y'all want to sell drugs. Nah, we going over there. We gonna shoot at everybody. We're kill which is fucking up. stupid. But what I'm saying is, I see more guns on the internet than I ever seen in my life. That's true. Niggas got big shit. Like, you know how expensive they might be on the street? Niggas got guns that's costing at least a rack. Niggas got FNs on the street. That's an $800 gun on the street today with no bullets. Yeah, they got guns on the trying to unlock on like cold dudes. So I'm saying, like, they got some futuristic guns. You paying a rack, $1,500 for a pistol, bro? Wait, hold on. I need somebody to die. Nigga confusing me. I paid damn near a rack anytime I ever bought a gun. Okay. (laughs) You wouldn't. You (laughs) wouldn't. No, it's different. You You got a discount. You Arizona (laughs) right down the street. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's different. It's different. different. You out there where you're going to catch all this time. You're going to catch six months. You a fella that's 32 months, 80%. You straight. What I'm saying is. It's a lot of guns in hip hop right now. It's a lot of you. It's like pussy. the shoot it up challenge. Bitch ass nigga. I don't know if the squad challenge no, really exists. Niggas beating up. Niggas challenge. beating up a lot of girls. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Niggas beating up a lot of girls. I need to see That's some grown men too. fight. I need to That's see true it. Too. I need to see it. What I'm saying is, Lil Yachty security guard caught the last fade in hip hop, and niggas be talking about the little homie saying he's all buster fight and whatnot. But he got the last fade on record I, in hip hop. What, so. what fade is that? When they beat up some nigga, I, I don't know these Little niggas. Little Yachty security oh, beat up some yeah, yeah, squabbed him up. Squabbed him up. Y'all better respect him. Yachty's such a nice guy. I know. No, teenage no, emotions yeah. in stores right now. <laughs> niggas better get with it. <laughs> Thank you, man. They got All the right, homie fucked up. Leave Little Yachty alone. I like Yachty. Nah. No, no, stop. Or is stop. it Lil Uzi You was wrong because you yelled at him because he he really a kid. He just tall as a motherfucker, but he really a kid. He too tall to be a kid. He act like a kid. But what you told him was right because don't nobody talk to nobody about their money and then we want to, a nigga won't tell nobody to pay their tax, won't tell nobody Check they check they contract, but then want to make fun of a nigga when he broke. That's yeah. Cool. So that's yeah. His delivery's yeah. fucked up. My delivery. Is you, you can't I shout at somebody who's sweating, like you pointing at them with two fingers. He a good. I promise you. But, I promise you. If you if you would have hit Coach K like, hey, what's Lil Yachty number? I want to talk some about some shit. And you would have called him and told him what you told him. He'd have been like, damn, thank you, bro. I never thought about that. You a good dude. Hey, hey P from QC clarified. He said, listen, don't worry about his money. We, he made thirteen million. He's straight. Hey, I don't like when you start telling me about where niggas is from. So they made that's money. a lot of money. Though, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leave anything in his face. I'm not, I'm not listening to him. No, no, no. My point is, I like Yachty as, huh? as a person. Okay. person. As a person. They probably person. brought it in. But that's what P said. He said, yo. I said 13 million. We made 13 and, million and in a year. Months. Months. It's 16 months. I know. I know. And then somebody, I think it was Complex, stupid ass Complex, went and did a whole complex. think piece on how, how Yachty could have possibly made 13 Wait, million. Wait, y'all believe him? Why? I, even, oh, no, no, no. Even hey, if hey, it's hey, the truth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. But. I don't want to sound like a hater. Even if it's true, even if it's true, why the fuck is Complex doing a deep think piece about 13 million, making 13 Here's million? my question. We were talking about future and designer. Why were we talking about <laughs> future? All right, so let's bring it back. I don't, oh, let's bring it back. Who cares? If them niggas is going to judge Fight. Joe Brown, let them go judge Joe Brown. If not, let them run a fade. Stop. Pocket watching. Nice conversation. Let them go and judge Joe Brown. Put a button on that. Or Thanks. fight. It, the only thing, only thing surprising about this thing is that why would future file a copyright claim? I got the you. I got over you. The void? I would I say got, the no, stop. I got you. I don't know if Future did that because Rocco just did that to him and he yeah, might yeah. be a little bit salty about that. So that yeah, would make sense. Stop pocket Pardon. watching. Stop pocket watching. Stop snitching because that's snitching. If you tell a nigga case, y'all motherfuckers bring paperwork and you act like a nigga died. Let's keep it moving. Who next? You're next, actually. So we've been talking about the All Eyes on Me biopic. Only academics have seen it. Joe and I still need to see this. You've seen it, right? You've seen it. I mean, I don't know if I'm going I've seen it in it. Calabasas, bro. It was crazy. Calab- yeah, so you had thoughts <laughs> with, 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 the, with, the, with the lean back? With yeah, the lean back. Yeah. 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 Yes, the fuck out there. That's who's buying the records. You crazy. In Calabasas? Yeah, man. Come on, bro. The white people in the Mexicans, they you love, they love this gangster shit. I feel like that's where all the rappers are. Cause I don't want to take no pictures with no niggas, and I'm not I'm not that famous, so it's like I ain't shit. So if if this nigga Kanye might walk down the street with a puppy or something, I'm cool. <laughs> I don't see, I don't want to walk out my house and see Kanye walking by with a Yorkie. But what I'm saying is, if Kanye right there, you was not talking to me, and I do not like talking to niggas, cause I gotta put on my fake voice. That's my point. Uh, this how I really talk. You see my other interviews, I be putting it on when I'm around them people. But you know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying so to So that's why you in that area as opposed to elsewhere where you Yeah, and I gangbang, bro. I'm not trying to run into no bullshit. Like, I don't want to deal with no niggas who's still broke. Like, niggas be mad. Fuck cuz, cuz from over here, and he got a little bit of money. I ain't rich at all, nigga. I live in an apartment on the hood. Like, I'm straight. My mama got a house, but I don't, nigga. Yeah, I got you a little bit of thing to regular, man. Like, you, you don't seem like the, you don't have that rapper, like, I'm showing you the wealth. Because I had, I, had, I had fun in high school, bro. Mm. I'm not doing that no more. That's all, okay. Shout out my nigga. Yeah, a lot of these niggas didn't really 
have a good time in high school. Yeah, the Tupac movie, though, you know what I mean? They needed more to my power rules, more to Cross Atlantic power rules, more to Lucas Parks. It was very important in that era, Death Row Records. Snoop Dogg doing his own voiceover was trash. They should, oh. have, they should not have done that to my homie. Shout out Snoop, that was fucking trash. That was crazy. I fuck, we need, <laughs> that was crazy. We needed more Oakland. Hold on, hold on. let me explain. Are y'all so, giving out please. spoilers? No, 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 it's not really spoilers. Sure the guy who plays Snoop. The he guy doing who plays Snoop. I'm like, cut on, got a voice. That's what I'm saying, bro, but we got to move Snoop fast. We, we wasting time. Yeah. No, we good, we good. Oh, we got time. No, it's YouTube. YouTube. Okay, so, oh, you right. Man, it's YouTube. We chilling. We chilling. We good. Look, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, brody. The movie was I. It wasn't bad. But it wasn't good, you feel me? And I'm feeling like if you're gonna make a movie about a nigga life, you can't Especially miss Pac. certain. Yeah, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's more than Tupac. I'm sick of motherfuckers making Tupac seem like he was just some super hard nigga, like, or some super sensitive nigga. Like, he was regular, and motherfucker was 10 different niggas in once. That makes sense. So, kind of showcase make that. Him, did it make him appear like some, because in the commercials and the teasers, it didn't seem like he was coming off as some super hardcore nigga. It seemed like they tried to make it like he wrote poems and. You but know, see, but see, they made they made him look super passive. Yeah, like. he was pacified like crazy. And then and yeah. then, and the way Shook he was comes in, the way, the way he was talking to his mama when she went and bought the crack. Yeah. It's like that nigga would have never talked to his mama like that in front of them people. That really pissed me off. Like yeah. nigga shaking his mama, and she you weak. Like nigga, what? Finny would have slacked the shit out that nigga, bro. Faded and all that. Yeah, You're I, not finna I, talk to Tupac mama like yeah, that. that I, I think wrong. it was clear moments you could tell where they did it for just like. That movie effect. Hey, they shit, had this nigga. D, like they had this nigga, D. Ray Davis, wearing all leather, beating up a crackhead in the trash while Tupac just staring at him. Like nigga, that's so boof. That's out. Okay, now I understand. Okay, you get now, what I'm saying? Now it was now like I extra dramatic. What people are saying, but it's like nigga, but it's like nigga. Okay, Shock G in the movie for like 15 seconds. Layla in the movie for like 15 seconds. That shit was both. I appreciate them not making it look like should kill Tupac because I'm tired of weird ass square niggas on the internet that ain't never left their mama house putting a body on a nigga. That's both. Yeah. I'm hey, tired of niggas hey, saying that's that. That's a lot to do. I agree with you with, well, the, with the Tupac hopping out the car joint, getting on one knee and busting the shots. That was fire. That, <laughs> that shit was hilarious though. Bro, I ain't <laughs> never seen a nigga shoot on their knee. Okay, I never seen that the shit. Shoot, was period. fire. But I'm like, that's what's going on. If he got out, got out of the car. This is when he's. This is the scene where he's shooting at the cops. This is not a spoiler. Y'all can look it up. Wikipedia. He gets out. At least in the movie, he gets on one knee. Y'all niggas duck. Squints. Boom, swing. <laughs> Two hands on the thing though. It's crazy. Went in the car, grabbed a pistol. Like y'all niggas duck. I'm finna get cracking. <laughs> Turn around. Boom, start busting on me. Boom, 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 boom. Hand steady as a motherfucker. I was like Tupac with the business. <laughs> <laughs> If niggas, start, if niggas start shooting like that, bro, I'm getting put off the hood. I don't want no parts of no street shit, bro. If For some reason, I expected knee? Tupac with a gun to the side, you know what I mean? Just busting wildly type so of me, shit. So let me backtrack. Uh, so you don't subscribe to the theory of, um, in the seven-day theory, Machiavelli, Tupac in the intro saying that Suge shot me. This is what I'm going to say. I'm just telling you this, what I heard This is what I'm going to say. No. This is what I'm going to say. Any nigga who was out here from 1989 to 1997 know exactly what happened. You niggas stop lying. All right. Because if motherfuckers was like, all these niggas run around here from all these different states out here gang banging men from hoods that they ain't never heard. If a nigga was like, yeah, man, mixing music with that gang banging shit, got arguably the best rapper ever killed in Las Vegas on accident for no reason. It was a shame. Instead of making a fucking conspiracy theory, maybe niggas would stop trying to gangbang and look fucking corny. Because who gonna set a nigga up to get shot in the car that they had? Do, you, do niggas know how bullets work? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Let, let me ask you a question. That's a gutsy guy. No, no, don't. <laughs> hey, shoot the homie. Man, nigga, shoot the homie real quick, but, I, but make sure y'all don't shoot me yeah. Yeah. out the moving car, though. Yeah, do you think there could actually be a, a good pop movie being made? I mean, the, I believe the documentaries are better, uh, documentaries are better than the movie. But... Tupac, again, was so different. Do you think they could really make a, a great movie about him? Just one. It's not far N- Not like moved. in parts. It's not far removed enough. If you look at the biopics, that's really nice, nice. They 30, 40 years down the line almost. Like, you got to think about I mean, it. Pac died like 20 years ago, though. Right? You like the shit out of Compton? Yeah, straight out of Compton was good. But they, are, they still alive. Okay, okay, they can tell their own they story. They can be involved. Kind of You're not going to have yourself looking corny. Look at Ray. Yeah. Look at, you know, Ali. The movies, it take time to really sit down and... Reflect on a nigga legacy, you feel me? New edition is still alive. I like that biopic. When somebody can sit there and say, this ain't reflective of me, and even if they do inflate it a little bit to make themselves look larger life, like when, when Dre just punched a nigga in an NWA movie, it's like, cuz for real. But when he punched a nigga in an NWA movie and like did all that shit, it's like, it's an uplifting thing. But 
you know, when it comes to black people in film, bro, and I just feel like black people in general in all forms of media, they just sell niggas trauma, bro. So if you're trying to have a black film or black anything, something bad got to happen to a nigga or it got to just be unfortunate. It can't never end on a high note. Like, they, no, they kill some of the white people in the white movies too, though. But it's, no, it's different, though. It's different because yeah. what's, what's, your, what's your favorite black movie as of late with a happy ending? As of late. With a happy, happy ending. ending. Or just in general, start naming them. Did Django have a happy ending? I ain't really watch it. Mm, nothing Kinda, about that but okay, we that's Quentin move Tarantino. On. I fuck with. I'm saying this. Twelve Years a Slave, they love it. Moonlight, they love it. Mm. Uh, just, come on, I'm not finna go there, man. I didn't watch Moonlight. Show some happy shit. Show nigga Moonlight? happy. Show nigga just, you know what I mean? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Hidden Figures. Happy that had a happy shit. ending. I didn't yeah, see but they was going figures. through trauma. They fucking like it's was always trash. trauma. You gotta go through trauma. But in terms of happy endings, that's one of man, the best. I ain't seen no trauma. I ain't seen no trauma in fucking super bad. Them niggas was living good. Yeah. Shout out Kevin Hart, man. Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. We on Al Sharpton. Yo, oh my God. All right, so this is some shit that we can't unsee. Al Sharpton's been posting these crazy ass selfies. I think we got three of them. What's Let's up just, with Al? I don't know, man. What's Vince? Please is help he us. posting them or does somebody that, hack that, the iPhone? That's that black excellence. Man. But he's taking them. Isn't that enough? That's that black excellence. Look at Cuz, man. He nah, don't somebody got to instruct him on the selfie rules. No, he, he don't. Look at that, man. That if you don't look at that civil back. rights <laughs> cone. <laughs> no, no, no. I will fuck with that. Man, you but you can't have your selfie shown in the mirror. Yes, you can. Why not? I mean, who made the selfie rules? Where the book at? This, come on, the unwritten Man, selfie rule, let, bro. Unwritten, fuck that. Let my nigga cook, bro. Look at cuz. Look at him. Look at Yo, nah, guy. man. Nah, nah, man. nah, man. He in shape. Sure no, man. That's good. That's good. Great. Hey, but Great. he is in good shape to be that age. Yeah. He is in good shape. Irrelevant. Hairline What's there. What's happening with him? This he, is a guy who's always... Have you ever been Sit. on Instagram before? This he, is what all y'all girls are he doing. He cool. <laughs> How come it's whack now that nigga? How come it's whack now that nigga doing? This is Al Sharpton, so the activist. What's, so what? Let's be the same shit Bernice do every day. Y'all love it. This, hey this is definitely a, a chick pick right there. Like Amber Rose, an activist, and she what selfied is? up. Let yeah, yeah, she yeah, love yeah, it. I seen Delicious do the same thing. Everybody say a word. What is Al Sharpton trying to do for his brand right now? He's trying to post selfies on the gram. That's what he's trying to do for his work. That's all he need. Okay, he might be sending to a chick. And, and he got a case on it, so you know he really doing it for real, because he don't want to drop his phone, crack the screen, he mean that. And he got tube <laughs> socks on with training running shoes. This He's going to go run right now. You a hater in the desk. I'm fucking with, I'm fucking with Al, I am. I Mustache am. I like attack, this. hair intact. I hope it continues. No one's going to roast this guy. You're all just going to say good things? Stop making fun of niggas, because when Al Sharpton died, they're going to be like, damn, Al Sharpton died. Wow, when these niggas in these right, comments right. died, nobody going to care about their mama. Shout out to big homie Al Sharpton. Keep killing shit. Post your selfies. Add a filter, my nigga. Let's keep in mind. Add a filter. Add a yeah, filter. A filter will make it fire. Add a filter. I kid you not. Add right. some fade. Fade Court. make shit fire. You, <laughs> Court. Court. We're going to act the publicist. How you feel about Al Sharpton selfies? There we go. I don't know if your publicists up. really count as a publicist. You can just get to say what the, the publicist but that's how I is supposed her. to stop you from saying certain nah, shit. Nah, that's, that's on brand. That's how we get shit cracking. <laughs> <laughs> that's not on brand like Al Sharpton selfies. Uh, so Spotify. So record labels, they're testing out something in their free service that would allow labels. They're testing out to, something. <laughs> it's called, it has a name. Sponsored songs. Um, it would allow labels to promote songs and play. Labels and are paying for, the fucking streaming services to play music. Come on, don't give me fancy jargon. Don't hey, give me these fancy words. They're trying a new experiment where they're paying. No. Why didn't you just introduce the topic and save me I didn't time. know that you was going to be all there trying. I got you. I got you. Go ahead, Nadesk, and finish your <laughs> statement. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Back to you for real. Back to me. I mean, that was it. Joe already shit on it, so. Cause Did we, on, are we surprised? Shit. We're not surprised that labels are like, look, they're trying to innovate. They got to figure out what to do in the streaming a long, landscape. A long, a long, a long time ago when Apple Music first dropped, we was, um, I ain't going to get into details, but con artists were already written into the streaming deals from their labels without them knowing it. So we don't know how long this been happening. Mm. It was like, oh yeah, everybody already blah, blah. Say he was like, say you wanted to hit the label and pull yourself out of the agreement. Like they collude a little bit. They was like, oh yeah, everybody already signed into it, but they, they felt that pressure, they applied pressure. You think Whole Foods wanted to sell Amazon and shit? They was like, y'all finna be out of here in a second. And that's what's going on right now. Which it, I mean, they got to get it where they fit it. They got to, you know, you got to try to... It's so now they getting thugged out. The, the, the only thing with this is that... The I feel like thugged out, man. I feel like now we get an announcement of something that I think's been going on, right? Like, because what are they talking about is, like, say the homepage or whatever, now they could have, like, a little disclaimer. Sponsored, this is why we got this person here. Do Shout we out. ever think that the people who are on the homepage of Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, any of these streaming services were just random? It or depends, some algorithm though. shit? Some people did. It depends. No, some people did. No, 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 it depends. It did depends. think or, or were really random? It depends, bro, because sometimes you pay, sometimes they just like you. Yeah. Because I ain't putting that in my budget. I ain't paying for shit. Yeah. I, want, I want my back end. So 
but I've been on there before. Oh, really? I've been okay. on the keynote. I'm not giving nobody no kind of money to. Yeah, but well, you gotta mix it a little bit real with the fake. Is that expensive? It's like Instagram. Is, is that is that expensive? Whatever they're charging, is it expensive to get on those places? I mean, it might be, but I mean, it would have to be. Right? It is. But I'm saying you you can't you can't deny like truth. You know what I mean? You got a couple motherfuckers that they plug in when niggas do the you know niggas do the Jimmy Iovine and you know they buy that albums and they do all this other shit to you know give it the presence. It's important, but you can't fake like. Uh, what you gonna call it? Like a chance, or like when and I'm talking before the last thing when he was doing. Um, That's right. Yeah, when he was doing numbers off of that off of Spotify, it was there. Yeah. He wasn't nobody helping him because yeah. I was on. We was on tour with Mac Miller back then. He was in an RV with you know his people, and they was just trying to make it work. So. This is with Donny Trump that you're talking about. Nah, it's before that. Yeah. Before that, Acid Rap. He was on the Mac Miller tour mm -hmm. three, four years ago. So, yeah, he it, went hey, as years. time goes on and like streaming. Not only is King, but that's the only thing going on. These, like, because if you look at all these streaming services, it has, like, recommended songs next. I think it's going to be a heavy competition for these labels trying to get their artists somehow higher on that list. If you just listen to Drake, you just listen to but Kendrick, it, it depends you, want, on, you want your artists to be it depends recommended because, next. It depends, though, because don't for a second think that a label can control the streaming service when they know they make more money than the labels. So, so you, so you think, you think labels pulling the, pull the strings and really got the? I feel like the, I feel like the, 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 the streaming. That's what I'm saying. No, streaming no, service no, got the pull. Streaming, they not the worried about no company. fucking label, nigga. Why they be worried about a label? Yeah, they giving saying. niggas bread for exclusives. We thugging them out. This nigga chance. This nigga chance said he got half a million dollars for that. for a mixtape. Even if he didn't, mm. the fact that you can even say that. Mm. And, and it be, be believed. To be, to, be yeah. honest, to be honest, the funny thing about it is based on based on his ass space at the current time, it's a hundred percent possible. A hundred, because then they gonna Diane Sawyer. So who all you got? All you got to This is what I'm saying, bro. I, 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 you, you can get a check if yeah. you know how to walk in that room and not look fucking stupid. You can get a check, like a real check. So what I'm saying is he know how to walk in that room and not look stupid, and he on Diane Sawyer, and he family friendly. The niggas bam near the new fucking he fucking Kirk Franklin 2.0 right he now. Yes, on some other shit. Even though Kirk Franklin is the puff daddy of gospel, yo, yo, and niggas. Yo, I think they that. waiting for something to bring him down to regular people level, cause they ain't nothing that yeah, they try that baby mama thing with him. Like, yo, he ain't paying child it's support. It's not going to work because he's already on regular people level. This nigga don't got a fucking chain in a McLaren stop. No, no, no. But, no but not like that, but have that 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 thing to tarnish They always going to defeat the black man, but he not walking around acting like he perfect. He sexually so assaulted a chick or something like that. They always got something yo, to bring you back. Star, they're I always just, looking for a reason to take you down. I just want the streaming numbers to be consistent. As far but they're not gonna do that they, because they're they not, they 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 not trying to pay nobody. They're not trying to pay nobody. But what they say, it's no, it's no exact algorithm to figure out how many plays yeah. per. That's the dumbest mm. shit I've ever heard. You listen, the mortgage is the same every month. The car note is the same every month. The bills is the same every month. Like a motherfucker. Why the fuck is the streaming, uh, <laughs> the streaming revenue? Oh, it fluctuates. Who the fuck are y'all talking to? I mean, it is what it is. It's, no, it's, it's hopefully it gets competitive. You know, Spotify still shitting on people, but you know, you got. Title trying to get their black owned business cracking. You got Apple Music. I got a radio show. It's called CBS. Go listen to that. You feel me? They pay me every month, so we're going to give it every month. Wait, what's the name of your shit? CBS. Spelled S E A. S E A B S. You feel me? So they can't even sue me down the street with them people. Is that why you? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you feel me? It's a lot going on right now, but it's music at the end of the day. Fuck you got the, the eye open on the joint? Fuck, the, or fuck the streaming services. Fuck the labels. Fuck all that. Let's. How about we talk about some motherfucker songs for once? Not y'all, but just yeah. in general. Like, I don't know the last time I heard a nigga say something about a song. I talk about songs every day on this motherfucker. I hate them all. But you be yelling. <laughs> I hate them all. I only yell on here. I don't really, I'm not yelling, like, home. Joe Button's passionate. Leave Joe Button alone on the internet. Yeah. He's out here defending you on Twitter. I appreciated that tweet, man. On, bro, because be, you fuck with me. That should be early. No, no, I'm not lying. I read that tweet wrong. Niggas be, niggas I, I, niggas when be I read that tweet, I thought it said, fuck academics. I'm rocking with Joe. You? I'm just saying, I'm going to tweet good morning and start hearing about... Just, Fuck your morning, nigga. Yeah, you like, washed up. Just chill. Bitch ass, it's nigga. Okay. Your last shit flop. <laughs> nigga, I heard you... Somebody said they it's seen you out here in L.A. yesterday. You were just mad to walk around. Like, you were just looking They mad. made that up. Stop. <laughs> anyway, let's go. It's just my face. All right, quick <laughs> hits. Our final segment. Uh, Paul George, rumored to be going to the Lakers. What do you guys think? His hairline too close to his eyebrows. <laughs> but... <laughs> But that's what's up. You don't get fan? your money. Huh? You a Lakers fan? Nah, I wasn't fucking with them. Clipper tickets used to be free, so we was fucking with them. Oh, really? So yeah. you still rock with the Clipper yeah, tickets? Real, real life, bro. Clipper tickets used to be free. Real life, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wasn't to a fucking Clipper Real life, bro. Man, you tripping. They was cold for a minute. Good game. <laughs> you know, who was on the Darius team? Miles, you know, um, Quinn, Quinn Richardson. Oh, yeah, knock it off. Yeah, Come on, yeah, They weren't really winning, but they were excited. Hey, you ain't got to win to be cold. They said they was free. supposed to rep. Alley was everywhere. Chris came in. Come on, Lamar Odom. That's before he was hitting that thing. 
Nigga, Come tell on, me man. about Quinn Richardson and Chris Kamen. Call like, wait, wait, why, why Paul George ain't going to the Cavs? Paul it's George, all my super teams, Paul, man. Paul, Paul I love George, the Lakers. Let me talk you about, let me talk about Paul, Paul George is going to the Lakers. Uh, Maybe. Fucking board down so No, everybody in the NBA knows that Paul George is going to the Lakers. I've heard this for months and months and months. Then Maul came and told me. Everybody knows that Paul George ended on the Lakers. They say that Chris Paul's trying to end on the Lakers, too. But I'm, I might believe the Spurs rumors. There's a lot going on in the NBA right now. Phil Jackson got to get the fuck out of Dodge. But this is not a sports show, so we'll talk about it later. All right, thanks. That was good. You guys remember Mims? Phil Jackson, let me tell you something, homeboy. If you trade Porzingis. He hitting that good weed. He getting the he fuck getting is it. wrong with Phil Jackson? <laughs> he getting he need to come in. back out here with y'all. What's the lake? He, he got to go. Have he a soul or something? He got to get it. Yeah, uh, it. Free LJ Simpson, man. But listen, what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> shout out <laughs> like you. Mims is from This Is Why I'm Hot, right? Yeah. Mims from This Is Why I'm Hot. Exactly. Man, yo, he just make your money. Uh, shout out Mims. Win your award. Shout out Chameleon for your venture capitalism, my nigga. I, I appreciate you not cursing when I was a kid. We played it in the car when my mom was in the car. Uh, he, that was such a gimmick. He Rock. came up. Chameleon really came up off that. Nah, I don't curse. But it's Shut fine. I appreciate oh, yeah, it. He, 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 he on that church shit. He ain't trying to make it seem like he's better than us at the Shout time. out Roscoe Dash. You know what I mean? Drive your Ubers, my nigga. Don't let these niggas try to... Lift, man, lift, man, lift, lift, he coming lift, back. He set me a record. He coming back. It was a back. lift. It was a lift. He coming back. This nigga's an A&R now. He getting records from Nah, this. nah, nah, nah. Well, he, uh, I like Ross. Academics, fuck with me. Hey, look, it's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out all my rappers with jobs, my nigga. Don't be out here broke because you trying if to If you were a rapper, people. what would you do? Nothing. I didn't have, I Yo, ain't graduated high school. Yo, when are you going to do a special no with Dave Chappelle? Right. 23. I, like telling, I ain't trying to tell no jokes with no niggas. Like. <laughs> you tell jokes all day for free. Just nah, get paid I just for be that talking, shit. but I'm not finished. See? Hey, guess what, guys? This is my life. Like, now nah, I'm not finna. You don't have to uh, do traditional stand up, but you should consider it. Sketch comedy, something. Funny, He's man. funny, I'm look, telling you. Man, I don't know. I don't, I, know that, I don't know what that I don't know what that check looks like. If that check look good, we could drop this tomorrow. You I'm know like, how much Dave Chappelle got paid for those podcast, Netflix man. specials? Come nah, on. I, I, they don't pay enough. We already had them conversations. I got bills, bro. I got a mortgage and I got rent. Yo, fuck a podcast. Do a comedy special. I don't like telling jokes. I think I think they could pay. Hey, look, talk to me. Netflix got money. To they you, got man. money for you. Oh, Netflix? No, no, no. I'm not that big. money in the podcast. I'm going to talk to you. I don't know man, if you can... Why the guy OJ looking like that? Yeah, so OJ... <laughs> wait, I just turned <laughs> around. This nigga was looking like, what's up? Uh, so Mims won. I was, he has an, an app called Recordgram. Go Mims check it out. We didn't get app. to that. Yo, he's doing well. It's like a mobile studio. Anyway, OJ um, has a parole date coming up anyway. in July. <laughs> we just, because we... He's doing well anyway. I don't think we... Yeah. Millionaire... Mims, they are shout out all rappers with jobs. Period. Stop trying to be rich. And also, that right money average. is outside of music, yo. Stop lying about being rich. You look corny. Yo, keep going. Let's keep it funny going. Funny enough, I got you, Nadeska. Hold on. Stop lying <laughs> about being rich. Y'all look fucking corny, my nigga. Go to college. This rap shit is played out. Go ahead, Nadeska. Thank you. Yo, you guys think OJ's getting out of prison? Free OJ. He just caught yeah, a little. Come on, Vince. He just caught a little. Free OJ. He just stole some shit. Niggas steal all the time. Nah, no, it was his though. It was his stuff initially. Yeah. Niggas took it from him. He wanted to get his shit back. That's a lot of time to steal some shit. A long yeah. sentence, 30 OJ, something OJ years. He shit. served eight years man, already. They try to make example. They, they try to they took him to the wash house. Free OJ, my nigga, period. Uh, you yeah. put him with a body, he ain't he ain't catch the body. Y'all said he didn't do it. Leave cuz alone. Keep it moving. Free OJ, free you all think my OJ niggas didn't in that jail. I don't give a fuck. I don't know them. Niggas catch bodies all the time. You feel me? She's talking about what? The, the, the court I'm saying, yes. I'm the saying court come on, bro. said he didn't do it. The court so said he didn't do it. So y'all should have did a better job if y'all thought Cud killed that poor white woman. Y'all should have did something about it. It's over with. Keep going, free OJ. Show I, I, was amazing. I think, I think that's, that's why they hit him with, this, with this long ass sentence. Of course, they always try to wash niggas up, bro. Look at that skin. You think that skin don't? Man, that don't go away. I don't care. Yo, I don't they were looking at the chops like, nigga, you knew not to get back up in court. You got back up in here. We gonna get you for that old shit. Come on, man. Free OJ from the wash house. What's up, Nadesco? What's next? OJ better act right in front of that parole board. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting out. But Big Fish Theory is coming out June 23rd. Big Fish Theory, June 23rd. I need all 5,000 of my album sales, 10,000 maybe. We're going to try <laughs> well, to why do you, is, is that the projection? Why do you keep saying oh, that? Are you lowballing yourself? That's what I did. Like, what you mean lowballing? I don't give a fuck, nigga. I ain't going to see that check. What I'm saying that's is, true. I know for a fact, it's probably going to be 10,000 niggas that's going to fuck them. So I'm fucking with y'all. Everybody else that come, I fuck with y'all too. But shout out to the homies. Where, which camera? Shout out to the homies. I think it's that one. Shout out to the homies. Which one of the seven cameras? I, I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all pay my mama bills. Y'all pay for her medication. Y'all pay the Mercedes car and Y'all some real niggas. Since this show has started, Ack is numbers, man. Ack really loves to get caught up in the numbers. Part of the reason I don't care about numbers is because niggas don't really get paid for I got you. Like, I got you. <laughs> so you know who the Ramones is? No. no. All right, so you ever heard somebody say, white people say, hey, oh, let's go. Mm -hmm. That song. Yeah. That's one of the most famous songs ever, right? Yeah. Ever. Ramones, one of the biggest bands ever. Everybody buy their t-shirts. That album just went gold a couple years ago, and everybody
Two Chain's got money. He on he on real estate. Yeah. Two Chain can sell five thousand albums. He still you ain't getting that money, nigga. That's not your money. You getting seventeen percent of that. Yeah. Seventeen, twenty, twenty five percent of that. If yeah. you spend five thousand dollars to record your album at your house, you only need about five, fifteen, twenty, thirty record sales for them to recoup their money. Because them CD that CDs cost fifty cent a piece. Them jewel cases is two, two, three, four, five cent. It's free to upload the show in there. They You're not paying nobody at the label. You break like down that. the yeah, game. Don't listen. The, the way you break down the game, I'm surprised you even but signed. It's not like some shit you you, you almost conceptualize. I mean, nah, but Trump. nah, I fuck with that job. Next to care of my mama when I need it. I'm never going to turn on things. What I'm saying is, bro, at the end of the day, bro, what's the game? Like, it's music. We making music and you selling music. All that, that, that shit is yes, actual. It's just niggas trying to find something to talk about, bro. Yes, what's the game? The rap game? Mm -hmm. the industry? I got to ask. Fuck? I got to ask because you know every what? time... It, tech is an industry. This is niggas making songs. Exactly. Stop it. Yeah, I, I've always said, at least on this show, that you my guy when it comes to thinking about underrated rapper. Do you think you're underrated? No, because I'm I get paid all right and I'm taking care of my mom. I still get to go to Starbucks. I ain't trying to have no security guard, none of that. That shit bull. You like Starbucks? I make my song. Nah, bro, but it's right down the street from now, so I'll be walking. You know, I ain't trying to waste no gas. What I'm saying though, bro, is like <laughs> I ain't worried about no ratings, things like that. You make your music to make it, bro. You know, Basquiat was never the nigga when he was coming around. He has the highest selling painting of all time. As of recent, niggas it was not worried about cuz he was just a little dirty black nigga. It was Andy Warhol, uh, Velvet Underground, we selling bananas and Campbell Soup and shit. He invented the copy. You don't have to own an original, own an art piece. Mm -hmm. A lot of shit went into him being himself that kind of put other people on the back burner. But nigga, if you're doing it for attention, you both. No, but even talent wise hey. though. Hey, so Lyric's hands getting tired. Don't tell me to show. rob We got to end the show. Uh, we we'll talk later. Show Big Fish there, June 23rd. Leave Joe Button alone. Shout out DJ Academics. We not running no phase on camera. It's a place for that. Meet us at Ramona Park if any nigga want to phase. <laughs> for the squad. Academics not getting packed out. Shout out everybody. Hey. Damn, man. Man. My God, man. My God, man. My God. Oh, man. My God. Oh, man. No, no, no. Man. Joe, Joe going to leave me out of And he was wrong. He shouldn't okay. have been putting that shit on the internet. Niggas die every day from this gang banging shit. But it's a way to say it. Shout out Vic Mensa. Go get the capsule. It's right now on sale. Capsule. Apple Music. Hey, you're going to come back to the show in New York, good. right? I feel like we didn't have enough time. I feel like you at least come back in New York. We do talk about it. I mean, like, front page complex for that. We're going to talk about it. Fuck with Vince, man. Hey, Slim Jimmy, man. Yo, nah, chill out. 11 a.m. Pacific time. We're still in LA all week. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Niggas don't say that no more. I just want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't say that. Yeah.